Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. Cognac set me up. Mine's too full to make good noises. I don't win tonight. We're back. We're back. (laughs) Welcome back, everybody. We are back. It's almost Halloween. I'm very excited. Yeah. (laughs) Spooktacular. Spooktacular? Yeah, Mm -hmm. okay. (laughs) How was everybody's week this week? My week was funny. It was a funny week? I had a funny week. Yeah? Yeah. So it's this guy, <laughs> this guy that I, that I work with, um, we used to be chummy. You know what I'm saying? We used to be real cordial. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes, yeah, just cordial. And then uh, he started like not fucking with me, which is cool. <laughs> but um, I knew I, you don't care. <laughs> yeah, he stopped fucking with me because shit was being reported back on him. I think to corporate. And he thought that it was coming from me. Oh. And then he got into it with a guy last week. And the reason they got into it, he tried to say, I bet that's coming from, from safety. And the dude was like, no, nah, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, you on some fuck shit, yeah. basically. And um, so he realized that it wasn't me. So all week, he's been trying to be trying to kiss cordial ass. again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, nah, that's dead. Fuck with you. <laughs> Fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know the rest of the yeah, yeah. So it's been entertaining all week. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's the best when they realize they fucked up. Yeah. yeah. In some way, shape, or form. That's you okay? Like, How you doing? <laughs> Same as I was yeah. last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you yeah. didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Well, that's a good funny at work story. God bless his soul. Mm-hmm. Not his soul, but yeah, his soul. God bless his soul yeah. and his life and yeah. all that he got going on. Yeah. <laughs> With all them reports. Try to keep a, try to keep a positive yeah. outlook on everything. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I'll add your name to the list. <laughs> I, would, I would report him too because he's, he's sometimey. Like, yeah. <laughs> and he called... Tequila is snitch, and I don't yeah. like that. We know tequila is not no snitch. Yeah, I got time for that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How was your week, Cognac? My week was good. Um, we brought in a new product. <laughs> Tequila's trying it out of his game. Yeah. Um, it's a new um, pre made cocktail, basically, but it is like high percent. And uh, it's made with apple brandy, and it's basically an old fashioned made with apple brandy. Um, unless they sponsor me, I'll... <laughs> no. it's our brand. It's we, our just, brand. we just sponsor it for free. Right, anyways. It's actually good. It's just really strong, and really I feel sweet. like it's like a yeah, it's sweet, like very it's orangey. It's really sweet, orangey. Um, I taste it, uh, honey. Orange and honey. I honey. feel like it's, yeah, a, it's, a, it's honey yeah, yeah, it's definitely a sipper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, yeah, and then we went to the Cat Williams concert. Last yeah, night. I was gonna bring that, was, that up. Yeah, we all went to the Cat Williams show last night. Yeah. We got pretty high. No, not, <laughs> not, it wasn't as not, bad. I want to say. I, I it, did not get high. Not I, did, I didn't either. I didn't even smell anything. I, I, I smelled did it. Smell it. Yeah, I, I smelled did it. Smell I don't need no <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah. I did smell well, it. Well, you just shown the tickets <laughs> and where you went, and that's not your fault. Yeah, I thought it was going to be worse as far as the, the flunkadonk or whatever they call it, the stankadank or whatever. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. You know, you knew yeah, there yeah. was going to be some people. It's Cat Williams show with yeah. their vapes. It was fun, and uh, give it up to Mike again. Thank you for driving. Yes. There, driving back. Yeah. Thank you. It was us us three and and my sister. Her sister. Oh, yeah. What was was her name? Headache? (laughs) Mad dog. No, liquid headache. Liquid (laughs) headache. Mad dog. Yeah. 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 She should have wrote that down (laughs) on her notes. What we call her? I don't know. Um... Yeah, that was the highlight of my week so yeah. far. Uh, yeah, I recommend y'all catch that show when it hits y'all time. Yeah. It's a good show. 
Good, good, good I lineup. I think they're in Dallas yeah. tonight. If R- there's good. any Dallas listeners. Real good lineup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lineup seriously, really like good. I walked in and it was what is that guy's name? I always forget his name. He's uh, Red. Red. Yeah. Red Green. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's like the host, and I yeah. was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He's hilarious, yeah, he's and then funny, he always would cat. Um, yeah. Who was the first? The first guy was some guy from. Um, he was from that movie. Meet the Browns. I know they said Meet the Browns. No, it was the House Next Door. He played in the House Next Door where Cat is a vampire. Mike Epps and Lil Duval. The older guy. Yeah. Never he, they saw said it. he was in Meet the Browns. That I don't remember. Uh, with the with the gray in his beard. Right? Yeah. Oh, he was hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. Was. Sorry, sir. I forgot your yeah. name. <laughs> Yeah, no, he was his honest. Jamaican segment was freaking hilarious. Yeah. With a Jamaican woman. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> no, he didn't say it wasn't about Jamaican woman. He said that the the when the women land there, if you ain't messing her right. Maroon. Oh no, he said Jamaican he said men. But Jamaican then men. He had a the, Jamaican woman get off the boat. <laughs> you don't remember <laughs> oh. what you gonna do with this yeah, pussy? No. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that's that, <laughs> Lunel said yeah. that the, when they get off the yeah, airplane. It was Lunel yeah. who yeah. I was oh, gonna bring yeah. up next. Lunel, and you, everybody should know her. Yeah. you know she's older comedian, short blonde, platinum blonde hair. She's hilarious. Still dirty and nasty and freaking funny. <laughs> she was the hooker and uh, not Bruno. Yeah. Not Bruno. Uh, Borat. Borat. Yes. Gun. Yes. She was so funny. Mm-hmm. She, yeah. She had her drawers out on the stage. Was really <laughs> then they had the legendary uh, Mark Curry. Yes. Hey, and Mr. Cooper. He was, he was hilarious. He, he was, was funny. so funny. He was, yeah. he was funny. I yeah. just have to say, when you picked up the, <laughs> the bar stool with the eyelashes, because oh, yeah. like, we saw a lot of those on the yeah. way in. <laughs> like, and on the way out. Yeah. I walked on some. Yeah. That, one, <laughs> yes. that one blew yeah, right. That really got me and my <laughs> sister crunk, because we watched Hang with Mr. Yeah, Cooper me all too. the time. <laughs> you know how I am with spiders. Oh, that's, a, that's an air eyelash. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run yeah. out yeah. the building. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not leaving us. And then, obviously, Cat yeah. still got it. Everybody was nervous. Was he going to show up? <laughs> yeah, he showed up her. and showed the fuck out. He was so funny. Yeah. He, and really attended. I like how attended he was with the crime. Yeah. Except yeah. for that loud ass bitch in the back. Did you hear yeah. that yeah. old lady? Like, I love okay. your little ass. Yeah. Okay. We heard Don't you. He responded change. to you. Now, yeah. sit down and shut up. Yeah. She was going to my nerves. Yeah. Other than that, super good time. Everybody acted like they had sense. I don't think there was any shootings or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch well, we the news. We weren't there for it. I didn't watch the news today. <laughs> yeah, it was a shooting at 2 in the morning, but it was fucked up. Did, did the, they, they ambushed um, three constables at a, at a nightclub. One of them got killed, two, and other two in critical condition. Well, that pisses me off. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a current event thing. You yeah. know what? Everybody has to work together here. Yeah. Um, if you want police reform, you need to reform your behavior as well. Sorry. Yes, but I was um, at the club. We're not ambushing cops. That's corny and yeah. um, burn in hell. Sorry. They uh, responded to a skirmish in the parking lot, something like a, a robbery. Okay. And this dude just came out with an AR and mm. immediately shot one to kill them. Dude had just dude had just got back to work mm. because he had a newborn baby. He was on parental leave and baby only two months so though this is the one that died this was know. last night yeah this morning two o'clock this morning because yeah. it just reminds me of the other guy who first day on the job yeah yeah um that doesn't make you hot uh or, or cool or, and all still out there or they ain't catch gang 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 or whatever the yeah. fuck it is you think it's I, I do not support that at all i can say yeah we need to do better for our uh, peace officers, um, as far as vetting and things like that, but a criminal is still a fucking criminal. Um, a murderer is still a fucking murderer, and I hope you get what's coming to you, piece of shit person, whoever you are. If I may say one thing, they said they after him with a vengeance, because you don't ambush. That's what the um, chief said. You don't ambush my. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and and, and no, what yeah. you're essentially doing. Yeah. Sorry, it, yeah, I'll let you go next. Sorry, to, uh, cognac. Um. What you're essentially doing is making it worse for the people that are trying to actually get yeah. change done. Yeah. Because now there's a target on other people's backs yeah. that look just like you yeah. or grew up just like you that would never do something like that. So fuck you. That just takes us backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you pretty ahead. much. Sorry. Yeah, you kind of said that. But what I was saying, like, like the Dallas thing. 
when they were peacefully protesting and they ambushed the police, you know, went behind them. You remember that? Yeah, years but ago. That, that could about have been Antifa. I don't know. Whatever. The whites. It doesn't, I, that could have been the dude in San Antonio he, I brought up the last episode. Yeah. Fine, yeah. But yeah, like you said, it's degressing the progress of. There's that. no and, progress if well, it's not unified I didn't, progress. Oh, sorry. When no, I was snow. agreeing with you. And I was saying uh, on that note, you know, like the whole thing about. And it's a touchy subject on this one. It's like defunding the police thing, you know, whatever. <clears throat> the the on, The only problem with that is. It's almost like having a regular employee if they're doing a really good job and doing well and you don't give them a raise and you're just like, you know what, now you're just going to be stuck in this bracket. All you're going to get is shit employees, basically. So it's the same thing with the police force. If you don't commend a good officer and, and give them a certain raise or whatever. Well, fun, okay. I ain't going to comment on that. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm saying I'm gonna that comment, you, all you're going to get is shitty I'm police gonna officers comment just trying to get a check. I'm going to comment in yeah, summary. Yeah. The term defund the police doesn't mean... I don't mean that okay, way. But let, yeah. me, let me finish, but that's what you brought up is their paychecks. Yeah. Police officers do not make enough. They don't. In my opinion. And that is why you have crooked police officers that are doing yeah, crazy exactly. shit, yeah. drug deals. That is not what defunding the police no. is. What we're saying no, is... No, a lot. What like And I'm saying what we're saying is, because I agree with it, is... There is a lot of fucking money going into the police department. department. They get brand new. But the officers are not getting it. No, I. Um, That's. So. That's why I'm saying that. It's called. What they should have, I guess, to appease people, should have called it reconstructing the police department. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's wording. Good police. Tomato, tomato. Um, Yeah, because I know a lot of good police officers. Shout out to them. Um, And we need them. I do do think that we do need police officers. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm not either. But that's what I don't have enough. That's what I was saying. Okay, so I just worded it differently than what you said. But But it's the same. We're all. We're all. I know you do. But I'm wording it so that people that do agree with the movement, maybe not the wording. Yeah. And they see that there are people that are not saying fuck the police. That's yeah. not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. I respect them and what they do and, and pr- pray for them. And I, I said I want to respond. I just know that defund the police do not mean don't give police officer raises yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. They're not talking about the salary and the payroll. Yeah. They're talking about all the extra money that... Those They're police don't getting, see, yeah. 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 You know, they got this fucking Taj Mahal police station. Yeah. You get brand new cars every fucking time a new Ford Explorer yeah. come out. Yeah. And, and the fucking and, cop and that it, drive it living, can't live where I live. Can't yeah. afford to live where I fucking live. Yeah. Squalor, yeah. yeah. Because they get deals. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, yeah. yeah, over bigger yeah. companies, yeah. and that was the same thing I told her. Well, that's what that means. Yeah, no, and, and it goes to the fact of the matter with, speaking of topics, and I brought this up before, with, with Metro, where they made deals with Metro, where it's like, okay, well, what are you doing with the gas running buses? You just have a landfill of them filled. How good is that for the environment that you took thousands of buses off the street because you got to deal with this company making eco-friendly buses all of a sudden? But you had a d- well, I'm bus also, built I'm also in. trying to build, breathe and shit. You know, yeah. I'm but trying I'm, to get what I'm saying too, is okay. So. But you still have landfills of damn, damn near brand new built buses right. full of but made I'm from sh- metal but that I'm was extracted also, from. But the I'm ground. also sure okay. when we had horses and buggies and they invented cars, so we they had just land- shot the horse because they had they the car. Ha- no, they, I didn't say that. I said, but the buggies, there's they, 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 they went there. somewhere either. <laughs> they went They're somewhere too. In Texas. Scrap metal is important. Yeah, 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 for real. I need to go get one of these. Yeah, buses. right. No, you do. <laughs> yeah, right. It used to be they moved them. I'm about to make me a yeah. food truck. <laughs> I'm gonna call my boy Poop. He, he worked for Metro. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is <laughs> it. We're, yeah. It's just the weirdest thing to be yeah. We're ranting. It's like, I'm you, you're, boy, you're, you're, you're trying to fix the earth is not weird to me. Yeah. Sorry. Can you just <laughs> let me be it on? Right. I don't. I don't no, what I'm saying is battery serious. consumption and and stuff like that. First of all. We don't make batteries. I got that a much. I take you to the casinos. I quit my job. I'm driving bus. <laughs> I'm making casino runs with my bus because those buses not echo. No, that's, they're <laughs> yeah. not. They're yeah. not. That's the thing. I'm telling you, uh, there's landfills of buses. I'm telling you. What, anyways, but that being said, <clears throat> um, battery. We don't make batteries in the U.S. We're like I think ten percent or something of the battery manufacturers. They make them all overseas. So. That being said, what job, I mean, without the 
oil industry. You're in Texas. I mean, the inter- okay. interstate is on local. I just don't, they make cars more fuel efficient yeah, than average. I don't, under, I don't understand something. where um, growth is new. I don't get how that's new. Like I said, there was horse and buggies. So then yeah. go back to horse and buggies then, yeah. if you like the old shit. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, you're and sp- this will bring up my first current event. I guess that was your current event, the buses. Um, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, it, just, flowed, it, it, it just flowed into that. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. The, that's the title of our episode. What episode are we on? <laughs> 36. 36. 36. <laughs> yes. 36. Um, current events. Um, we'll probably be throwing these in occasionally because shit goes on in the world. And yeah. We want you guys to know we woke <laughs> to it. <laughs> but my first current event was kind of correlates with this uh william shatner captain kirk (laughs) oh there you go i I said that he went to the space no i I already knew that thank thank you Um, about burning thousands of billions of gallons of fuel but you're an environmentalist um i don't know if william shatner's environment i don't know if jeff bezos says i don't know if i mean apparently well well, what's his name went right or did he go yet what's yeah did he he ain't gone yet but maybe he's the one doing the battery car but maybe maybe his rocket does use his battery i I don't don't know (laughs) i mean i really don't know but everybody got a battery car my thought is the same as i think uh what's his name prince william said like can you stop trying to go somewhere else? And Kat said it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all keep trying to go somewhere else. Fix your shit here. Yeah. You have billions of fucking dollars and you running? Well, like, they were running from the heat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wait for his tour yeah. to finish and yeah. we have to talk about some of the shit that he brought up. But I don't want to like ruin it for other people. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> but hold on. Going back to what Mike's saying. And he, he's, what did I say? He said about every car runs on a battery. Not say everybody got a battery car. Everybody a battery got. Ford four got it one. Everybody got it. No, I know car. they do. That's, that's how I said everybody got an electric car. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But the battery itself isn't manufactured in the United States. So? And the battery, hold on. And the battery itself, once the battery goes out, you're screwed. The battery costs more, and the electronics and the chips that come from overseas cost more than getting a damn a brand new car. So where's the waste in that? You're same wasting with, a whole car. Same way with the with Mercedes Benzes and everything else. That's in the landfill. Some people buy them and they can't afford to fix them. If you can't afford to fix it, you can't afford the car. What's and that's the why that's you, not, if not you don't problem. progress, yeah. the shit won't get cheaper. Yeah, it, it'll get They're cheaper. They're getting more if, expensive. If you progress and you can manufacture your own shit, then it'll get cheaper. This is how life works. Yeah. I don't understand when people like growth. It just you growing as a person. Is the same thing. We are supposed to grow as people. We're supposed to evolve. If that matter, like, if it, the, I mean, you want to go yeah. back to fucking the cave? You want to go live in a cave? No, I wasn't. Okay, stating that. Okay, I mean, you, you see, got rid of a perfectly yeah. good TV. No, I didn't. <laughs> you have <laughs> when to for a better TV? Are you kidding me? I'm the most conservative. Who's a whole lie? He drives a Hummer. Then why you got You drive a Hummer, sir. But shut up. What I meant by... (laughs) Wait. What I meant by that is I don't get... I don't have that Hummer for how long? Well, it's a beautiful Hummer. But that's my point. But it's not the best for the environment. But you're worried about the environment because people want electric cars? It's better than the old one that they produced before the one I got. Yeah. You know why? Because of progress. But what I'm... But so where'd those old Hummers go? They got an electric Hummer. Where'd old Hummers? My question They got an electric Hummer. You're sitting here... You're sitting here saying I'm... The new TV and everything, but I save TVs. We have TVs. We've had our TV for if you're gonna, if, if you're gonna say it all when you don't need a new. You one. said what you're saying is we should keep all these ecologically terrible buses because of landfills. You can't pick and choose. You run them to the ground and then scrap the metal. You don't throw away new buses. That's what I was getting at. You can at. scrap metal from anything. New they old don't, though. Not. They just dump them because they don't want gas from the buses. I've know. seen the graveyards of bus graveyards. Well, where? Google it for Tell me. Tell me where one Google is. It I want to go see it. Google it for No, me. I want to go Fine. see it. Where is it at? I told you they had one off. Sir, <laughs> show it. Google. Okay. You have your phone sitting right here. I can Google. show the listeners? Yeah. No, we'll just agree and be like, oh, he showed us a gr- but Go ahead. Okay. You can't just spell it off. You got to have your proof. That's, saying, well, that's what the research is. I don't care what you're saying. Show me a picture of the bus graveyards in, in current time. A metro bus graveyard. Yeah. Thank you. 
Or go back to it if you saw it in person, take a picture. Do you have a current event? William Shatner, sir, go sit down. That was the end of that. My current event is the new national COVID mandate. What is it? That, um, oh, shit. I'd be ignoring it's been It's being bucked by Abbott, of course. Um, oh. No. But um, if, you're, if you're an employer and you employ up to 100 or more employees, mm -hmm. the, those employees can't work if they're not vaccinated. And if they not vaccinated, they have to provide a... Negative. Or a test. Negative test. A negative test at least once a week. That's not a metro bus service. Oh, no, okay, bus buses that's in been, general. That's the been around bus. since the 80s. Yeah, that's, okay, that's fine. Bus the school buses right. have been changing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you got to, go they got to produce a card. The, no, they got to produce a test. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, recent. Yeah. Once a week. Yeah. So, in yeah, order that's to, in, yeah, in in order to work. It don't last you the year. Yeah. In, in order to work, if you're not vaccinated, yeah. You got to get tested at least once a week. And, um, that's the rumbling. That's the rumbling around my job because I got a lot of people that's not yeah. vaccinated in all levels of the yeah, spectrum. Yeah. And, um, they wondering what we going to do as a company. And I'm like, well, you're in Texas right now. So, yeah, but they, the company going to have to roll something out. Because we all over the United States, mm -hmm. but uh, well, they can transfer, or are, a lot of people gonna lose. Quit. Well, a lot of people gonna well, quit. Well, the economy, fin things are finna change because of this, this, this. A lot of people can't go to public schools. Yeah. If they don't have the right shit either. Yeah. So. But that is a current event. Um, it is. And our guy fighting it. Um, Abbott, he fighting it. He don't agree with it. But any any COVID mandates. Um, yeah, he only agrees with uterus mandates. So. Yeah, uh -uh. I don't have anything to say about him. Yeah, he, well, gives, me, he gives me a headache, but it is a current event. Yeah, you got anything to say? Nothing. Um, I misspoke last night when we were discussing going out to the crowded area that we did, and I said, "What was the point of getting the vaccine?" And I misspoke and I said OSHA, which I meant to say HIPAA, whatever. But you know, we had a good old time and a couple of cocktails and. But OSHA, OSHA is enforcing this mandate. No, I know. Yeah. But I'm saying the HIPAA thing, I when I said about when y'all were asking me about my vaccination card and all that stuff, and I go, I just, you know, wait, let me just stop you there because he literally woke up talking about this. Nobody asked about your vaccination. They did. My, my sister, no, I'm saying my sister no. said, Are you bringing your vaccination card? And I said, I take it anywhere I go, especially that's new. Um, and it's large, crowded, just in case, because I may not want to wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I do, I try to, you know, um, but I always take mine. And then you started with, why do you have to take your card? I go, I don't know if you have to. I just do it just out of precaution. I got one. Why not fucking take it? That was it. So go ahead. No, I just think that, 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 that we've become, um, it's 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 ridiculous in, in my personal opinion it's ridiculous it's like do, do you have your uh what was the, the the thing the show you just watched do you have your driver's the license music? yeah <laughs> i'm so sorry well i said yeah do you have your well i mean yeah but what was the whole thing about the, the thing about the voting and they can't get their licenses and people need to have a license to vote and i think that's ridiculous now you have to have your license to be vaccinated but you don't have a you have a license or id to vote listeners i just want to say i apologize i have nothing else to say to this because i've said I it a hundred and million ways and i'm tired of talking about this it's not a current event um you, you can make your own choice it um, is because it goes with the vaccine you can, card. You can make your own choice that's my, that's but my current um What's your current hipaa event? laws uh, our HIPAA laws. Uh, I know when I went to public school, we all had the same vaccinations. I didn't have to ask you because you yeah. can't, you couldn't get in it without yeah. it. So, um, well, but I will bring this up. Here's a, here's a here's a here's a here's a current event that has to do with that. Kyrie Irving, uh, Brooklyn Nets, correct? Yeah, yeah. He's an NBA player. For those that don't know, and he's refusing the vax. His state of New York. Uh, has very strict uh, big venue um, laws yeah, yeah. as far as vaccination goes. You can't goes. even eat there without a car. Yeah. Um, and that's their state. Uh, yeah. 
and but the um, state in general will let you go to a restaurant without a vaccination card. That's what I said. Literally what he just said. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, he's on a big ass contract. I think what, 140 something million for four years or something like that. Don't quote me. Um, so they have not allowed him. They this week said yeah. he cannot play or practice yeah. in our venues. Um, and our good old Senator Teddy, Teddy, Cruz. old Teddy, uh, yeah. Chris, <coughs> yeah. uh, he decided he had time to, instead of fixing our power grid to, to tweet and said we would take him here. Uh, we can't afford him here unless Teddy Cruz is getting some personal money I didn't know about. Um, we don't rock is only one. No, don't uh, uh, at all. Um, here's the deal. Look. It's teach your own, but teach your own, uh, there's consequences for that. Um, and if you're willing to take that risk and okay, you don't get paid. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, one well, one yeah. thing I can commend Kyrie for yeah. is unlike most people, you know, he's taking a stand. He don't believe. He not arguing and debating with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I ain't gonna get the vax. Whatever I gotta do, whatever consequences come to me, come to me. That's yeah. it. Yeah. He ain't gotta. He ain't arguing, trying to prove his point, trying to call people that get vax dumb. And yes. he just, you yeah. know, I ain't getting it. Yeah. If I can't play, can't practice. So what? Okay. But I ain't getting it. Yeah. And I respect him for that much. Yeah. Yes. You know. He. Yeah. It's not debating. It's not debating. Oh my God! Yeah. I'm losing all this money. Yeah. This is wrong. He's just said he. He. That's his choice. Yeah. And that's cool. So that's it. Yeah. Drop it. But I don't like him. I just want to say, <laughs> and his reasoning for not getting it is so stupid. <laughs> In my opinion, sir, he thinks we're all getting chipped as yeah. black people here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So, and by handles. the way, Teddy Cruz, he don't like you. No, he he does. He's a very militant uh, yeah. black man. Yeah. Um, so the book like, got man handles on the court. Mm. The Rockets mm. don't need him because he's injury prone. Yeah, that's my and, point. And he, Maybe uh, the Vax would help him stop being injured all the he time. Not I don't know. He's not consistent. He always taking breaks <laughs> and fatigue time, and he one of those fatigue time players and stuff. Well, like I that, think yeah. he's a narcissist. That's what I think. So. <laughs> He's got the what, what did Rob used to call t- Tracy McGrady? But he's got the bonitis all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like make up a reason to yeah, I can't play. I got the bonitis. <laughs> this bone over here <laughs> hurts <laughs> that nobody's ever heard of. He is the NBA champion. Yeah, he, I mean, there's so a he, lot of them. So he served. Be. He he he's met the he's an all star. He's a champion. So whatever else you can do in the NBA, it's not much more you can do in the NBA other than going to the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he's a Hall of Fame player um, because the last couple of years, you know, he's been up and down with just showing up to the games, but he's, he's accomplished. I do want to goals. say this. For $143 million, you can give me whatever fucking shot. Um, <laughs> so if the Brooklyn Nets want me, uh, <laughs> I used to play. <laughs> take my fucking chances. That boy is Kyrie a beast though when he right. I mean he yeah. has to be for that yeah. kind of fucking no, that paycheck. Has Jesus skills. Moses. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> do you have? I do. You do? Yes. Okay. Talking about basketball. Okay. Anybody that knows me know I'm a huge ball fan. Basketball oh. and ball family oh, fan. Oh yeah. LeVar Ball. You know he uh, <clears throat> came into our spectrum our atmosphere a couple of years ago, saying all his boys was going to go to the NBA. He has three sons. Lonzo Ball plays for Chicago Bulls. Um, LaMelo Ball, the baby brother, plays for Charlotte Hornets. Um, rookie of the year last year. LiAngelo, no, um, Melo was a rookie of the year last year. And we finally got, not we, but LiAngelo. <laughs> See? Lee, I'm a fan. So I know. I Sounds Lee, very Scientology. Lee, Angelo, <laughs> Lee, Angelo, Lee Angelo Jello Bob recently signed with the Hornets. Good. So, Congratulations yeah. to your family. He got he got Sir. signed to the Hornets one day, then waved the next day. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, nah, but... It, the, so, so, the waiver is just being strategic to guarantee that he be on the with the Charlotte Hornets because he signed up for the G, it's some G League shit. But basically, he, he is on a, 
NBA team. So, yeah, round of applause for the the ball. I can't. Family. I, I can't do it. But yeah. I'll let you have yeah. your current event yeah. moment. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> they get on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> where's, where's the wah 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 thing? <laughs> wah wah wah! <laughs> or the clapping? That young like, man followed his dream. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I, yeah, I said, yeah. I said, I said, good. Get my wah, wah, wah. I said, yeah. good, good for you. <laughs> yeah. What do you have? What's the current event for you? Current event. So apparently, they finally are going to um, neuter and spay the hippos from. Um, Oh, oh, I God. didn't know that. What's his name? Um, the one that the South American. Oh uh, God, I had his name. Okay, but they're gonna spay and neuter hippos. Well, no, no, in I'm general, saying, right? Um, no, it's. Uh, Are they? Uh, oh, I know in Colombia they got. Colombia. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, uh, uh, Pablo what's Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Pablo. Yeah. So recently, I just want to say I don't even remember yeah. what that man mm-hmm. looks like in real life. I just yeah. see the fucking narco's guy. Yeah. That's what every time I think so of him. now they've decided all of a sudden. <laughs> Which, since 20 years, they yeah. said that they ran rapid because, yeah. you know, he had this farm and they went and yeah. took him away. The most dangerous animal <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, took, they took him away yeah. and then they just left the hippos to themselves. That's some extra hip- petty shit. Right. Like, extra petty. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> so, now they're looking into having them... <laughs> Neutered and Spain because they got a hippo. Look, pro- I'm an animal. I'm an animal lover. Lover. Mm-hmm. I'm all about spaying and neutering, but I probably would shoot the motherfuckers if they, I'd be, I, they're da- they're scary. They scare the Do shit out of me. Well, you're gonna need. More Do they than, eat hippos? Yeah. I don't know. You're gonna need more than one bullet for them motherfuckers. I, just, yeah. I don't know. I need to ask somebody. I'm just saying. Do hippos get eaten, listeners? Does anybody mm-hmm. know? I fry. I feel like meat, that's a lot of meat. I feel yeah. I feel like people eat anything. Yeah, I, I know somebody's ate a hippo. I'm sure, but they like, is it dangerous? Pu- they is eat guinea tough? pigs in Peru. So, Oof. yeah. No, I, look, I'm not. I can't judge. I, I still eat meat. I'm just particular. It's got to be beef. I just can't see or chicken or fish. That's I mean, I've never seen hippo opened up or anything, but I can imagine it'd be a lot of fat. And I'm not in the fat. Yeah, that motherfucker strong too, though. So. No, well, yeah, yeah. Mu- okay, and muscles. So yeah. muscles tough too. Yeah, yeah. Hippo, hippo jerky. I'm moving to South America. And I'm some, making hippo jerky. Some people got to do what they got to do. Yeah, that, that was the time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave everybody in South America an idea for a business. So hippo jerky. Um, my current event is I'm gonna have some lighter ones after this. <laughs> Uh, Gabby Petito, if I'm saying her name wrong. Oh, that's um, the one I want to hear. The one, the, the poor girl who went missing with her man. <clears throat> they just uh, released this week that her cause of death was strangulation. And all I have to say, ooh, shocker. I mean, it's clear as day. You don't even have to watch Law & Order or <laughs> anything to realize that this man killed her. Well, you don't now, go back home without your girlfriend. Right. Well, now. <laughs> and just go and refuse to talk to anybody. Like, yeah. Recently, so what he I He obviously didn't watch it. No law and order. What I heard is the, <laughs> the father said that he was... He, uh, he's gonna start looking for a son. Yeah. Start, sir. Shut the fuck up. Did the up. flowers need attention? Did the house need <laughs> yeah <laughs> new I, gutters? My, and on okay. that note, sorry. On that note, now they're bringing out um, um, uh, the dogs, not the for the scent, but for cadaver dogs. For cadaver dogs, yeah, yeah that's what. It, yeah. Um, here's my <clears throat> hope. Um, I, I was talking to your mother about this. Is I hope I hope that if he is dead, um, he'll be found eventually. Just so people can stop looking for his dumb ass. He's probably making um, him old jerk but in I South hope, America. I hope that his uh, Gabby's father did a, a law and abiding citizen on his ass. <clears throat> um, if you haven't seen that movie, you should watch oh, it. Oh well, yeah, and. Uh, at least got her some uh, justice in that way. Sorry. Eye for an eye. Um, well, like I said, he's probably in South America making a hippo jerky. I don't know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't deal with abuse in any way, shape, or form. If, if you're being abusive, or get, get help. 
because that's what I take from that. Um, I'm not calling her an innocent young. I don't know their relationship. I don't know. I just know the video that I saw. What I heard, the well, cops yeah, she pulled them over. Or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, but there was more. I mean, there more other things story, like yeah. him being aggressive. I, I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Both and of, we both of them had a but toxic we, But we know that she's dead and he's not. So if she on the other foot, he was the one that went missing, and she came home and did the same shit, and yeah. he was found strangled. I would say the same thing about her. So um, fuck that dude. But uh, and and to yeah. note this, like Dania said, the girl don't because I'm sure there's stories. And for some reason, this one got really heated, but I'm sure there's multiple things like that with toxic relationship situations where either party is like, if you, I can't be with you, you can't be with me, and boo boo, and they yeah. end up killing each other, mm. or whatever. I there's think a lot I of the, things. I, yeah. yeah, I think I brought bring that up in the next episode. No. Huh? You got what your current event? So, my current event is <clears throat> a. What happened to the current event? Type question. Okay. What happened to all the hoopla about how we left Afghanistan? What? What? Why we don't talk about that no more? What happened? I'm, I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing something. Because because it's gone. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's gone. We, we, we gone. Because we gone, and uh, they want. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. I, I don't the know. The way it was yeah. handled was so fucked up. Um, in my personal opinion. No. But what happened? Why we don't talk about it anymore? They it don't. Was, because they don't want... Because they they're don't. over there beheading motherfuckers uh, and shit and doing some yeah. awful yeah, shit. And it's they, not our business. Like, it okay. hasn't been our business well, for no, a long time, also, maybe. I don't know. Also are, are, I don't know. They also... We the usually replace the story for a story. They also don't want to... This minute... Uh, mess up what's going on right now. That's... Yeah. Whatever. Uh, they're okay. just saying whatever you know I, I know y'all are um, uh, against what. nice against what no I said what We're I was going to say about it but that's that's what they do they just move on to something else it has, it has, yeah and I'm asking what's the something uh, else that's all I asked what's the something the something else now would be the they moved on it's to it's the metro buses <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> That was, I told you that was years ago. They moved them now. That's what I said. Sir, it's this is a comedy I know, special. I know. We have a comedy <laughs> podcast. Anywho. Here. That shit was funny. Just laugh and get it over. <laughs> no, they just moved on to now that it's the trillion dollar debt thing and they're trying to get this money to build back better whatever funds they need. But, you know, they're... That's that's the new thing. Is that your current? That's not a new thing. Yeah. No, they, what I'm they've always is, moved on. What I'm saying is now from scandal. I'm everyone. saying I'm yeah. saying that's what they're talking about now. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. politicians always yeah. move on from scandals. They all suck. Um, do you have a current event, or was that your? I thought. Oh, no, that no. was you. Yeah. So here was a funny one. So the border situation, it's gotten so out of control apparently that let's see. Biden has to reinstate, not him himself, but basically they had a meeting about it and they're reinstating Trump's policies about the border now. So, because okay. that, that was one of the first things he did was <clears throat> take Trump's policies out of the border, but it's gotten so out of hand with, you know, everything about it. Trafficking, drugs, everything that... Basically, they decide they're going to reinstate the policies Trump had about the border. So well, they thinking about it? No, that's what they're discussing now. Oh, so they haven't done it. They just that thinking was, about it. Buzzfeed. Yeah. Well, no, they said they're. It's most likely going to pass that they're going to reinstate his old policies, which, but that was one of the first things. Biden. And they think his policies worked. They're saying Trump had a better policy than the new administration right now at this point. Trump to control Trump, Trump. to control the what was the policy prior to Trump? Well, it was on here. Um, <clears throat> so I can read it to you. Um, it said border groups on, on Saturday walked out of a virtual meeting with uh, Biden's administration over upcoming plans to restart a Trump era program that forced. Thousands of immigrants and asylum seekers 
to wait in dangerous Mexican border cities, according to leak video obtained by BuzzFeed News. It's Thursday night, court feeling the Biden administration said it would uh, prepare the restart by grading program protocol in mid-November to relaunch the a policy of, of con con sorry, containment on a Mexican agreement to take immigrants set back under MFRP, um, which Mexican government has so far not agreed to, which what basically there was a negotiation for the Mexican government to handle people that had proper calls basically to come to the United States and wait for the right ways to do it and it would be beneficial for both countries because they would have to pay a fee in said, you know, Mexico and then United States, basically. So, anyways, so he had to reinstate that. That's recent news. That happened Friday, I think, was when they met or something like that. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I ain't, uh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Current That's events, what, listeners. Yeah, yeah. I, Look it up and give your opinion. Yeah. I don't have one. You don't have one? Mm -mm. You don't have another one? No, I mean, I didn't have an opinion. Oh, yeah, I don't have an opinion. Yeah. Because to me, that's a... Uh, well, you do. Uh, no, nah, to me, that's... I don't, I don't concern myself with that. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you live, you know, on, I, you you know, live on a border state. Yeah, so. and, and you know, I've been living on a border state for a long time, and I haven't had any issues. To, mm. <laughs> to twerk, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. You, yeah. Of, you don't, don't so you don't have an issue with... Uh, um, a lot of narcotics being brought in and, and um, human trafficking and no. so on. No, 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 I don't have a Oh, no, a, we cause I don't we, have a personal No, because we have yeah. um, human trafficking is a problem yeah. just in our own yeah. borders. Like, we're real bad. Yeah, we, we ship them out to the other places. Yeah. So, no, not as far as I that don't goes. think the border got much to do with that because you know, no. I've been seeing Mick Carton, Mick Carton pictures for a long time. <laughs> Um, them, ba them bad yeah, hombres been yeah. coming over here. Yeah. yeah, and we got a bunch right here. Yeah, yeah. and we got a yeah. lot of um, some bad hombres. Bad hombres that brought us didn't, here. didn't come from Mexico. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I, well, I can I, I can I can play? <laughs> I don't. I don't have. You know, I, like I, said, I was I born here, here, but if I if I was into that, you know, my own people. You know, it's hard for we're, me. We to, were trapped yeah, over to, here to, too. to be mad about somebody <laughs> coming over here. How 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 was, how the Africans were brought here. Uh -oh. I just thought yeah. it was interesting. It's, 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 I'm not throw them out there. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, but I, we don't always have to have an opinion. Sometimes people just be quiet. I said that the other day. Yeah. I was told my friend Emily, <laughs> she was upset because someone uh, wouldn't eat. Like they had some kind of potluck, and yeah. somebody made it about COVID. And I said, "Look, I don't eat potluck food, anyways. Um, if I don't like you, like that's just my." You know, if I don't know you and I feel like you have cats all over your counter or yeah. you're a dirty person, I'm not going to eat food that you bring to the office. But somebody made it about COVID and I just said, sometimes it's just best to shut the fuck up. Yeah. And a lot of people don't get that. Just yeah. shut the fuck up. So I'm shutting the fuck up on that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, like the drugs, you know, I'm from, I'm in the middle. So I've lived through eras of times where drugs has always been a problem. <laughs> You know, but at one, I thought she was talking about where you live. You no. sat in the middle. <laughs> oh, but okay. but you know, at one time, shit, it was our government funding us bringing the drugs over. They huh? was giving guns to Panama. You know what I'm saying? I mean, funding. I, I mean, the fuck I worry about that shit. For? I don't Excuse have an opinion on that. Around. It's um. a fucking fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay. Well, they play games. Okay. Well, um. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, when it's beneficial for them, let it in. Let it in because we need to do this. But when it's not, shut it down. Shut it down. Man, fuck that shit. But I'm glad they're doing whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. Good for Trump. I guess they reinstating something that he put in place. So, Robert Durst. You guys remember who Robert <laughs> Durst is? Oh, that was one of mine. Good. The Crypt Keeper. That's what I call him. Um, <laughs> okay. He... Uh, <laughs> This week got a life sentence for killing his homie, yeah. but not not for all the other killings. Yeah. Or whatever he, did. He, he beat one. He killed his wife. Yeah, guy away but away. he also I don't know if it came out today. I just saw it today. Yeah. He got the COVID yeah, and yeah. is on a ventilator. Um, 
But I was like, why take this long? You gave him a life sentence. What is that, like a week? Yeah. He oh, looks. I heard if you see that. what this dude looks yeah, like, like, like crib keeper. Yeah, he looks yeah, like literally, the like he in court like this. Yeah, <laughs> he's not <laughs> suffering. He had a long ass yeah. life. He's probably yeah. like, could yeah. I get the death penalty? Because yeah. this shit sucks. I'm yeah. old as fuck. Like he probably like Bob. Yeah, like, that's, that's <laughs> like, you got me. <laughs> yeah. that's Longest like, running saw game ever. <laughs> that sounds like the um the guy. The Zodiac Killer. They just found out who he was. <laughs> and, and, they say, and still people are like, right. no, it wasn't him. <laughs> and he, he died in 2018 or something. The guy they, you they know. Say, they yeah. say, yeah. whatever. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Old Durst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that popped up. I was like, does he care? I don't think he cares. I don't think he got, I think Look he, at he's di- He already has a death sentence. Look at him. He looks yeah. like shit. I'm gonna post a picture on our page. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that boy in the courtroom, like, yeah, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> he did the good, like. He hasn't had solid food in like yeah, years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, sorry. I like smoothie things. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hope you don't like killing your neighbors and friends. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the latter. The, the, yeah. the judge said, "Life sentence. Do you have anything to say?" She said. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, I, I need my diaper changed. Oh God, <laughs> Lord! He old as mm. <laughs> and no. sickly. It's not just old; he's sickly. Yeah. Well, he was already sick. Yeah. And serial killers are sick <clears throat> in some way, shape, or form. Evil people live forever, not for real. And he did for some reason. And yeah. he did. It is, it is an old terminology: that the good dies young. I think. I think that it comes from. When you're a decent person, you're always stressed about trying to be a good person. <laughs> That's probably what weighs on you. When you're not a decent person, you're just like, oh, fuck it. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he been in there for a long time, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Fighting that shit. Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah, it's just about um, the Salt Lake School um, tells teachers to ban its Holocaust books with opposing views. And, you know, and it's all about the... the What's an opposing view of the Holocaust? What does that mean? Well, because to, to manage it, don't, 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 because it, it all ties to they can't tell the like slavery and stuff. And I and I remember when that rolled out, it was just about slavery. So just to hear about the they talking about the Holocaust too. They want they don't want the teachers to paint a bad picture. This is what I said on another episode. Uh, you cannot pick and choose what fucking history you yeah. want. It is important to tell history. And I said this on another episode. I said. I want to continuously hear stories about Rob's grandfather yeah. and the Holocaust because yeah. it's important. Just as much as I want to continue to hear stories about my grandparents yeah. and my great grandparents and what they struggled with. And this shit is asinine. Like, we, stop it. Now we need more people who have those stories to stand up and, and, and tell them. We need more movies about those yeah. situations. And because, the kids need to know. Yeah, they, the kids need to know. And here's the thing. So... I'm going there. That's like the saying that people always say. It's like, yeah, Hitler was a bad guy, but at least he had the trains running on time. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. People say that. Like they'll try to justify by any means. And I was do- doing a stupid quote, you know, that somebody said, yeah, Hitler was a bad guy, but at least he had the trains on time. Yeah, we heard you. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. That's what like some people say. Like, oh, he was trying to fix the economy. You know, th- they go... In multiple fucking gymnastics to make this guy seem like he was he was actually doing a good job. Yeah, you kind, know, of, for, kind of like a for, Cheeto. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's all. Yeah. I was Anywho, doing. what you were saying was um, stop trying to what? hide your kids yeah. from what actually happened in yeah. life. Um, I think I posted something. It's not on my story anymore, but it said the same people that tried to prevent. A black child from going to school in 1957 are now trying to prevent their grandkids from knowing that they tried to prevent a black child from going to school in 1957 yeah. like no yeah. that's not how it works play yeah. i'm gonna keep talking about it yeah harper gonna know harper's kids gonna know i'm yeah. gonna make a time capsule <laughs> like you can't erase it's important it's important to know where you've come from period yeah
And even though the history books lied and always been watered down, now you just want to extra blatant, water. Yeah, now you just, you just want water. Just want say, fuck, don't yeah. talk about that shit. Why are yeah. we still talking about it? They're that turning shit? it to milk. Yeah, they're turning water to milk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First it was well, watered down. Now it's milk. <laughs> I was gonna say milk's thicker though. And you, you, you didn't get my reference. No. <laughs> it's, it's Maybe I did. <laughs> I'm trying to make it white horrific. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have one? Because if not, I got one. Adele released a single this week, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I, text, I text our squad, uh, Tequila, Cognac, and Vitamin Man. That's what I'll call, <laughs> I'll call it. Vitamin Man. And I said, Adele's coming out with a new album, fellas. Be careful out there in the streets. <laughs> um, yeah, it's long awaited. And... Uh, I can speak for at least the females. We excited. The single is phenomenal. Um, Her voice. I I don't know. I don't know what's in her voice. I don't. She could literally sing the ABCs to me and I'd be like, yes, 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 yes. Um, So thank you, Adele. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for putting it down on us. Uh, appreciate it and I'm excited for November I've already pre-ordered the album and current event news Drake called her his best friend (laughs) which I was like yes see I knew these were my people sorry I'm taking it lighthearted current event (laughs) last round then we have to go to our questions probably (laughs) I didn't even read my book okay Mike has his in why we going to the last round so far? No, oh. because okay, we don't have yeah. to. Yeah, go ahead. R. Kelly was con- oh, God. found guilty. <laughs> this could be a whole fucking episode. This motherfucker. The Kales was found guilty of all 100 charges of child molestation and all that other stuff. It's a sad, sad story. For, um, for the victims. Yeah, for the victims. And, you know, just because the dude was a talent, I used to love R. Kelly's music. Um, you know, talented people are crazy. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sorry. I don't ignore stupid shit um, just because you're talented. Some shit is unforgivable. And uh, you know how I feel about animals the same way I feel about children. Um it's sad because they let that shit go on for so long. Yeah, because yeah. I remember in high school when well, the, when the when the, P, when the <laughs> yeah. yeah Aaliyah yeah. I didn't know about Aaliyah yeah. until the P video came out. Yeah, you know, but I'm young. I was young in high school, so yeah. I was like 13, 14. Yeah, and it was like what the fuck, and it was just dismissed. I don't care, you know, like like I I don't know. I I got an opinion on it. But I ain't gonna talk about it. Like, but he did get convicted. You know, it just. I didn't say this. I've seen with my own eyes. Not not talking about not talking about Aaliyah, but I've seen with my own eyes no real life situations where say it's a family and they not doing so good. Mm-hmm. And then you got one person, an asshole, Mm -hmm. that's affluent and um, praised upon somebody's daughter. And since that person is affluent. Or son. Or son, yeah. Yeah. Since that person is affluent and can help the the family out, the parents allow that shit to happen. Okay, that's a good opinion. And and, and, and And I I agree. I agree. And I I know. It's like Michael Jackson. I know more than one story. Yes, I agree. Real with life that. story where the shit is okay just because. Yes. This person. And now yeah. that you've got the supreme predator, yeah. you can go after the parents. Yep. Too. They, that's what I'm saying. It's, that's it's, what I'm yes. saying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah, that it was always yeah. that way. I think so I think a, some of those parents really were like, yay, I'm yeah. giving yeah. my kid a better life. No, no, that no, never no. saw a dime. Yeah. Or, and and there's some that were like, Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I'm cool with that. I ain't got to take and, care yeah. of it. And you can help me yeah. over here with right. some of these right. deals. Yeah. But if there were, wasn't a predator in the first place, that wouldn't even be an option. So right. fuck him and fuck but whoever like, but that's the facilitated thing. Like you said. The, these children 
being taken, basically. Mm-hmm. It's like feeding your kid for the sacrifice, basically. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Money, money ain't that important, guys. Here Sorry. you go. <laughs> Here's my... Like, like oh, Kat my... said, the new money is invisible, Bitcoin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my offspring. Yeah. Yeah. Please give me a bar of gold or whatever. I have. I could literally keep talking about that. Yeah. Um, my last one for me. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, what do we think about this? Uh, Let's go, Brandon. Phenomenon going on. I don't know I don't what, know that, what that, is. that is. Please enlighten us. You don't know what it is. No. Enlighten us and the listeners. So, it started with there was a NASCAR run, and the guy was interviewed. By the news network, I won't name it, but they they were chatting f Joe Biden, right? Mm-hmm. In the background, they were like f Joe Biden. Not NASCAR. On, yeah. At yeah. NASCAR. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Hold on. No, we're, we're just trying to understand. Yeah. We don't know the story. Oh, we're not arguing because oh, yeah. we don't even know what happened. So they were d- d- immediately yeah. defensive no, 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 we don't no. even know what happened go ahead so they were interviewing this guy his name was brandon i forgot his last name whatever but he, uh they were yelling in the background on the news f joe line and f joe line whatever okay we got that yeah. and so she immediately changed it to oh they're saying let's go brandon let's go brandon well that's not what they were saying yeah so mm-hmm. now in multiple stadiums and stuff like that, mm-hmm. people are putting up signs that says "Let's go, Brandon!" Like you know what I mean? Like oh, like yeah. and chanting "Let's go, Brandon!" Mm-hmm. In yeah. college stadiums, but it really means "Fuck Joe Biden." Yeah, yeah. yeah. NFL stadiums, like all okay. these big stadiums. Yeah, I think are, she. I think she was smart. That was real strategic and, and quick on her feet. Yeah. Yeah. You got to come in here. I hope she didn't lose her job for being safe. She, no, but yeah. she was probably <laughs> trying to yeah. save. She's trying to save her job. Yeah, she did good. But it's a big. Yeah, pho- yeah I've been, I'm shocked y'all haven't seen because it's a big phenomenon going on. It's just a, like, certain circles. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, NFL, all the stadiums. I don't in the watch NFL. NFL. Yeah. I don't yeah. watch NASCAR. Yeah, Sunday. I, maybe I'll see it tomorrow. Yeah. The NFL, come on. I don't watch the. I ain't watched the Thursday night game. But cool. Let's yeah. go, Brandon. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. He tweeted. As the joke, the racer, he said, "Yeah, let's go, Brandon. I yeah, guess yeah. Like, not let's, trying to let's go, goes, Brandon. Not trying to be political, but he goes, yeah. he tweeted something like, let 'Let's go, Brandon.' Yeah. Okay, so um, my last one is Squid Games. Okay, That's what the about most it? Most watched. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying not to ever. move right now. Yeah. <laughs> The girls, the red girls looking at I me. I didn't say red light, green light. Oh, uh, <laughs> Squid Games. Uh, that's national news, uh, yeah. international news. It is the most watched show ever yeah. in Netflix's history. Yeah, um, that, that's impressive because because there's some good shit on Netflix. Well, you got to read that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, that too. Yeah. If you don't understand, it, yes. <laughs> so, so I'm, the, maybe the literacy rate changed. <laughs> We can all speak Korean now. Yeah. I think so Korean. I saw TikTok. I, I saw TikTok about it, um, and there was a Korean guy. I think I speak a little Korean. Yeah, I think I do right? too. Well, he goes, I know how to say "fuck this game." I know. <laughs> he goes, "That's why the subtitles don't do justice to the show." And he said whatever in Korean, and it sounded, you know, kind of like the. Blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, and then he said in English, he was like, "This is it dubbed over," and he was like. Thank you for playing the game. Yeah, with me. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw someone that said, "Don't watch the dubbing." But you know what? Yeah. And the the girl who did it, she did one too, and she's yeah. a Korean American woman. And she said, "It's it's it, it sucks because y'all aren't translating it the same as how they're saying. Like certain characters come across a certain way because you're not translating it." But she commended. She said, "But still, the art." Of dubbing is hard as fuck because well, a lot of yeah. shit does not translate. Period. The same. Yeah. the same. So they have to do it a certain way, and then the people that are speaking for these people have to get their same mouth movement. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it looks like they're saying yeah. the same thing, like, and they're super underpaid people. Yeah. So but shout either, out to them. Either way, I'm not trying to miss the movie. Sitting there trying to read it. Yeah, either, and but I mean, whatever. It translated well to be the number one. I mean, I'm a fast reader like the, that, yeah. the guy that I showed you, the world's fastest reader. Yeah. <laughs> For listeners who are curious, the show is basically like uh, Hunger Games, but gory 
and less uh, frou frou. <laughs> and, and, oh yeah, go ahead. No, it just, no. just it deals with like real life shit, not not a uh, factions thing. It's yeah. I was thinking about the dubbing and um, how the characters each stood out, and it goes to show how good of a dubbing job they did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because each character, yeah, if you watch it. They personality stood out. Right. And you reading the subtitles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you learning these people based off the subtitles that you read. Yeah. And they, they did a good job. Yeah. And they say fuck is the internet. <laughs> <word. laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck is the internet. Yeah. 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 I bet that bounced <laughs> just perfectly for me. Yeah. That's why it's my favorite curse word. <laughs> Everybody says it the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like hallelujah. Hallelujah is the international word around the world, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Taught me something. Yeah. Now, Amen, second close. Amen. We're at our. Uh, <laughs> you want to leave us in? Hmm? No. That was it. No, we're at I our, just was going to talk about the Super Sperminator guy. But go go for it. What is it? A who? There's this guy, supposedly, he has the most donations of sperm like he has is it nick they need, cannon they need a job <laughs> they need to find a job he has, i guess he has a on facebook he has a hundred known biological children Whoa. and there's one woman looking to see if she can get one out of them to make it 101 so i don't know it's fake but basically good for you and your can dick, he sir. he's known as the sperminator <laughs> 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 and he can. <laughs> then they're now they're just saying, can he live up to his name? Like you know, stupid yeah. shit. Like not that. if he's donating it. That don't mean he's a fuckinator. <laughs> like well, no. that's not the no. same. Yeah. Sperm he's, and being able to fuck is not the same. Well, no, they're saying, can he live up to it though? Are they still swimming enough to make the one on one? I guess I don't know. That's. I, Sir, you've I, done you've done your part for population right. increase. Well, I thought thank I, you. I thought I'd enlighten with that story. Thank, you, thank you, yeah. thank you. I need a shirt. Good, he needs a shirt. Maybe, maybe he's yeah. just, he could be a new rapper called yeah. Jizzy yeah. instead of Jizzy. Jizzy. Yeah. 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 I'm Jizzy. I just on the titties. No, no, not titties. Oh, no. Can't see. That's a lie. See, now he's a liar. You take rapper. it off your titties and put it when you need it. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's get to our segment because I'm not going to spend this whole episode, the end of the episode, talking about jizz. Super super small. Yeah, so we had our segment, our most popular and only segment. (laughs) For now. Yeah, we've. um, People wait for this. They they fast forward through all of (laughs) (laughs) it. We challenged ourselves to 3,000 episodes, and God damn it, we almost there. Yep. Super um, close, too. Mm-hmm. And the way to help us count these episodes, we said we're going to ask ourselves 3,000 questions. 3,000 questions about me being tequila, me being cognac, and me being the girl. And today it's on the girl. Fingers crossed, you're gonna open a book. Sir, my book's not even open. I'm so sick of this accusation. I'm about to take you on Judge Judy. Randomly, (laughs) if I was like this, and Mike was accusing me, I had the book in back of my head. Y'all don't don't listen to Rob. Rob studied that book. He knows about three thousand questions. Who knows me to study anything? What the hell? Oh, you most (laughs) random fact person I know. So I know you studied that book. For real. All right, guys. This is. Question 2088. The question is, hmm, this is a good one because we do this sometimes, all of us, <laughs> even on this podcast here. In a disagreement, do you think it's better to be right or peaceful? I think um, peaceful. Peaceful sur- supersedes right. I mean, because you can be right. And don't have to be right. You know? Yeah. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> True. Yeah. So, it, I don't have to argue if I know that I'm right. Yeah. Right. Peace, peaceful amongst people that you love uh, goes goes way farther than being right amongst people that you love. Yeah. Yeah. That's my answer. What's your answer? I'm with them. I try to be peaceful about it because what I think is right is not right and maybe right to me. It may be right to him, maybe right to you. 
and maybe write to some of our listeners or not. And I guess I'll take the the blood. I want I want war. No, I'm <laughs> no, I'm <sorry. laughs> you know, maybe somebody might think I'm an asshole for saying the things I say sometimes and be like. And I just have to take those blows as they are. And like I said from the beginning, we can all get together um, and have a, hopefully a peaceful conversation about the situation. And don't get hype. Don't yell. Don't get violent. And we'll here's go my, our own ways. Here's my thing. I mean, I'm, I, you're talking about the world itself. Yeah, in yes. general, yeah. Me as a person, um, I'm not going to argue with you if I don't have facts. Um or if I'm clueless, just like you'll listen to it sometimes. I don't, like I said, I didn't have a reply. I don't know enough about it. Show me or tell me about it. Um, but if it's something that I'm very passionate about, that's not opinion related and there's facts behind it, uh, I'm going to argue. Um, but I like to be peaceful. Uh, if it's somebody I care about, I try to be as peaceful as possible. And I'm also someone who's not going to keep arguing. Like, I'll argue with you enough if you're not getting it when it's factual related, I'm done. I'll go to bed or I'll leave or whatever. Um, but to end it, what Kat said last night, we are all the same people living in the same fucking house and the house is this earth. Um, we don't all have to be the same. None of us are the same. We're all going to have our own opinions. We all have our own mentals. You know, that's part of what God gave us or whatever you believe in. So it's okay to not agree on everything. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't have to get ugly, especially when it's a belief. That's a belief to you. If there's not fact behind it, especially. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go toe-to-toe with you if you're fucking stupid. That's when I want more. If you're stupid, then let's go. <laughs> but I try not to hang around stupid people. So, that's my answer. Peaceful is the best way to go. But I'm going to give you facts. And if you don't like those, then okay. Yeah. We don't have to discuss anymore. <laughs> And let's go out there and um, sponsor as much hippo jerky as we can. <laughs> um, Ross, you better get on your copyright laws. <laughs> He's a hustler, man. Yeah, we need to, we need to trademark that. Right? That. Yeah, let me see if that's yeah, just up a thing. Yeah, when we yeah. get done here. Yeah. Yeah, Shit. Before this yeah. episode's posted, we need to get a trademark. See if we can hook up with some Colombians and come mm. up with a... A deal on some hippo and get on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Crest, so Mr. I'm in the middle. Who yeah. knows all of the? Mm. Could you get with the Miss? Maybe Mr. Escobar. <laughs> Let's just see. access to his hippos. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all need a yeah. Y'all got a problem? Got a solution? <laughs> jerky, jerky. You're obsessed with jerky. Could make a lot of so jerky. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make. Wait, I got one. I'm gonna make a vegan one. <laughs> We'll talk about it later. Don't look at me confused. Soy? I got it. I got it. Shh. There's, there's soy bacon. It's basically no, it's, it's not. not the same. Okay. Forbidden hippo jerky. No. Shh. Hippo jerky. You're giving away our secrets. Exotic jerky. <laughs> they make it? Yeah. Oh. I don't believe it. Lake bacon. East Mississippi hippos. They ain't Mississippi got, uh-uh. ain't got no fucking hippo. They might. I don't know. Yeah. I might have to ask from Mississippi. All right. Thank you, listeners. We're done for this evening. Good night. Good night. Thank you for listening. Thank you. appreciate you so much. And let's go. (laughs) Love you. Bye. Bye. (laughs) That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.